so guys there is a one equation is that a that is first we are going for the complex exponential okay e to the power j theta theta is is omega t that is synthesis equation that is synthesis equation it is given by summation of k equal to minus infinity to plus infinity into k e to the power j k omega not t okay this is our synthesis equation and another is analysis equation that is a k equal to 1 by t integration 0 to t x t e to the power omega 0 t okay and that is dt also now k is always integer k is always always integer because whenever you go for any harmonic look there is there is harmonic first harmonic second harmonic third harmonic etc but there is no nothing is there 1.5 harmonic 2.5 harmonic no decimal number is there so that's why you have to put always k equal to integer number not any decimal number k means it is representing the number of harmonic so k should be 1 2 3 but you never put k equal to 1.5 2.5 no fractional part is there just remember this thing sometimes some questions are coming on this point so we can represent also now there is a some equations are coming <sighs> now we can represent x of t equal to cos omega t which is given as e to the power j omega t omega not t actually plus e to the power minus j omega not t divided by this two okay or you can write one half we can break it j omega t plus 1 by half e minus j omega 0 t okay another part that is if x t is the sin omega not t x t is sin omega not t then we can say look here uh, okay, okay we have to find out e to the power j omega t sorry here it is minus here it is minus minus e to the power minus j omega not t here is also not t by 2j okay 2j look if i break this if i break this one by 2j e to the power j omega not t minus of 1 by 2 j e to the power minus j omega not t look here is some coefficient are there this a is here a0 a1 look this ak means if i put k equal to 0 then a equal to 0 if i put k equal to 1 then a equal to a1 okay so this things is there means this is this is a1 because one means here this one a1 means one half 
and a minus one minus one means negative part one. It is also it is it is also one by half minus one by half. Sorry, this is plus one by half. Here is plus, so this is plus one by half. Here, if I take a one is one by two j, and here. A minus one is one by two j because the minus part. So if I take mod, then it will be giving you two j. Okay. So these are the coefficient. So if I represent it, that is k omega naught. And a k this is half and this is minus omega. This is the frequency domain representation first time. Okay. So if any signal is given, then we have to find out this coefficient and we have to represent in this space. Then this is over. So now we go for an example so that you can understand. Find. magnitude and phase spectra of Fourier series coefficient if xt a signal is given 4 plus 2 cos 2 pi T three plus four sine five pi three T. Okay. So this is our question. So omega not one, this is omega not one, this is two pi by three. This is two pi by three and omega not two that is this frequency that is five pi by three. Okay, so T is T is two pi by here is two pi by three T is so ultimately T is three. Here t is two pi by this, so it is coming six by pi. So this time period, if I take LCM, so it is giving six by three. So this is given six by one. So t equal to six second. Okay. So fundamental frequency pi by three rate per second. Okay. So another process is that this is the one process. Another process is that to find the fundamental frequency that is omega zero, we can get GCD. 
ओके ग्रॉस कॉमन डिफरेंस ओके दिस वाज टू फ्रीक्वेंसी वी फर्स्ट टेक द एच सी एफ एच सी एफ इज ओनली पाई एंड वी टेक द एल सी एम दिस इज थ्री सो दिस इज कमिंग पाई बाई थ्री ओके इन दिस वे वी कैन ऑल्सो अचीव this omega t now we put the value at the signal that is x t just 4 into look here only 4 is there means there is no cos signal is there no uh, signal is there means there is a zero e to the power j zero Okay, I write down. Look here, it is multiplied with the two, because cos is represented in this way. That is five omega t. Omega is five h t. Okay. Okay. So this will be nullified. Here we can write only four e to the power j dot zero dot pi by three into t plus e to the power j two pi by three plus e to the power minus j two pi by three t plus this two will be cut. Here is two. Okay, so two by j, two by j, e to the power j five pi by three into t. Just write down over here, two by j, e to the power minus five pi by three t. Okay. Now we can analyze with the synthesis equation. Just remember the synthesis equation. Equation that is x of t equals to summation of minus infinity to infinity. That is k equal to minus infinity to infinity. A k e to the power minus j k omega naught t. You can see every Terms have has this a term. This is a terms is there. That is one. That is one. That is two by j. That is two by j. And every each terms has the e to the power j omega t, 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 e to the power j omega t. So we can we can we can summarize this with minus infinity to infinity up to this t. so for the next slide we can write a0 a0 was what this is 4 a2 
a2 was 1 a minus 2 it was termed as 1 a5 it was minus 2j because we if we take this a minus of 5 it was plus 2j okay so if we represent it if we represent it that is zero and that is up to going to k and actually this is k omega naught okay and in this way one minus one minus three minus four minus five minus 2, minus 3, minus 4, minus 5, minus 6. Okay, up to this it is going 1. So at a equal to zero means at the omega equal to a zero, this is a k. Okay. That is four. So this signal is coming. This is actually a frequency. Okay. And a equal to two means a equal to two. Sorry, a equal to one, that is two. A equal to minus one. This is one. That is one. A equal to minus two. Sorry. A equal to minus two. A equal to two. A two means at the two. And that is one. So this is one a equal to minus 2 that is also 1 amplitude is 1 so this is 1 okay and a5 2j minus 2j a5 minus 2j that is minus 2 okay and a5 minus 5 that is positive 5 positive 2 so in this way we can represent this thing but this is not the amplitude modulation uh, this is not the amplitude and phase but we have to make it amplitude and phase sorry magnitude and phase so we have to write if a k is there a k where a k is 0 a k 0 a 1 sorry a 2 not 1 a minus 2 a plus 5 a minus 5 that is a 4 equal to 4 magnitude means it is also 4 if it is a positive then this is a 0 degree a a plus 2 plus 2 is that is 1 magnitude of this one it is 1 and and that is g degree no j, j coefficient is there 
so a minus 2 that is 1 that is magnitude also taking 1 and this is 0 degree and it was minus 2j minus 2j the mod if I take the modulus then we get only 2 and if I take this minus 2j then ang angle is phase angle is 90 degree same wise a minus 5 it was positive 2j if I take magnitude then only 2 is coming and its its angle is if this is a positive then it is giving positive 90 degree okay so in this way we can even we can find out the magnitude and the phase angle of a of a signal in the frequency domain so guys it was the exponential type and then we will go for the trigonometric type the function of t any function can be written as a0 plus a1 cos omega naught t plus b1 sin omega naught t okay plus same wise look this is first harmonics then go for the second harmonics sine sorry a a with a always with the cos so a cos omega naught t plus b2 here is is 2 b2 sine 2 omega naught t okay plus a3 cos 3 omega naught t plus B3 B3 that will be fine. B3 sine 3 omega naught 3. Okay. Plus A4 cos 4 omega naught t plus B4 sine 4 omega naught t. You can see one by one infinite time summation of sinusoidal signal. So this is the sinusoidal signal. So this is the first time. So first harmonic. This is the second harmonic. So this is multiplied with two. This is the third harmonic. So multiplied with this three. So if we go for the generalized equation, if we go for the generalized equation, then function of t, it could be represent at a zero plus summation of here is represented at 1 n huh? n is 1 to infinity because this is a periodic so periodic means one side and second side is equal so we take any one side a n cos n omega naught t plus b b n sine n omega naught t okay this term is given in this way look here this part is called the dc part this part is called dc part okay and this part is called the ac part because it is a sine wave sinusoidal wave and so it has some cos wave and sine wave mixing up so it is a it is called a AC part. And where omega zero is two pi by t, it is called fundamental angular frequency. Okay, it is radian per second. And sine in omega naught t 
or cos in omega naught t is called the int order or the int harmonic and a0 b0 it is these are called fourier coefficient for n not equal to 0 okay so here is some features is there for the fourier series into a dc component and and units comprising okay so the major task in the fourier series is to determine the uh, determination of the fourier coefficient a0 an and bn this process is called fourier analysis so far any in so for for the any integer m and the n so you can write you can write some formula over here that is sin in omega 0 omega not t dt equal to 0 okay 0 to t sin in omega not t dt equal to 0 likewise integration cos in omega not t dt equal to 0 okay cos sorry sin
sin omega not t in omega not t and cos m omega not t dt equal to zero. Okay, and zero to t sin in omega not t again sin m omega not t dt equal to zero where m not equal to n okay likewise sorry here it is cos cos in omega not t cos m omega not t dt equal to 0 where m not equal to n So guys, we can we can get this identities. By this identities, we can evaluate at the value of the a zero, this coefficient a zero, a n, b n, or you may say this is a one, a two, a three, and b one, b two, b three. Because if I got this formula, if I got this identities directly, then I can put this identity into a direct directly in the equation the equation you was you can you have seen uh, the sinusoidal expression is function of t equal to a0 plus uh, a a1 a1 cos omega not t plus b1 and sin omega not t uh, plus a2 cos 2 omega not t plus b2 sin 2 omega naught t. So if I know this identity, then we can directly apply over there. Okay. Whenever I apply there, then we can easily find out one by one a1, b1 and this. So in this way, we can find out the form, uh, value of this a0, this is DC component and this is this is sinusoidal component A1, B1, etc. And then we can put, we can configure a signal with Fourier series. Okay. So guys, if you have any question, you may ask me regarding this. So one by one, we will uh, find out how to, how could I find out, out A0, b1 and a n okay a0 a n and b n one by one we will go for this so i think up to this uh, if you have any question you may ask me Just write down these identities.
ओके थैंक यू हैव ए नेक्स्ट डे